Cool. So my name is Iago. I'm originally from Barcelona, but I work here in San Francisco. And um, I work for a data company. Uh, the name is Sefer Health. And we do a lot of maps. So I also contribute to the Angular Meteor project. And I've been helping Guri with some testing. And um, he mentioned about this talk, and he thought it was a good idea to like, present what an open source project I'm working on. So it's called Map Tools, and it's a Google Maps API wrapper that helps you to um, interact with markers and features, and really easily to like, do queries and get information out of them and interaction with the map. So the, the Google Maps API, I feel that it's really, really like strong um, and hard to like. It's really hard to um, master because there are so many objects and so many things. And then when you really know how it works, then you have to keep references of all those markers, where they are, and and then send updates and events and all the um, features. So I wanted to do a, a wrapper, and I don't know if you guys are familiar with GMaps. Uh, it's the only alternative that I found, and everything else that I found was very like uh, opinionated, or it was just for a specific framework. So I wanted to do something that's completely frame, framework agnostic that we can use for <coughs> any library. And, and um, I am, um, so I did a node. So it's all on node, and then I used Browserify to kind of be able to use the, um, the uh, DOM. And um, here's, I'm just, I'm just gonna go through straight to the demos. So it's really easy to like, Start a new map. Uh, all you, here, I'm gonna put that. So this is following kind of the syntax that GMaps is using. Uh, so here you have a, you know just a map, latitude, longitude, more arguments that you can pass, and then a callback function. So it's asynchronous. You don't really need the script tag anymore for in instantiated Google Maps, and it gives you a callback, and then you can start working with with this. So I want to show you real quick, like for example, for data querying. Uh, we have a map here that has three markers, and I use that method it's called addMarker. You pass the markers, and then you have some metadata. That metadata might contain some information that you can later on filter. So if you see at the click event right here, so what I have is I have a, a cross-filter um, way to like go through the marker, look which one has more population, and then um, bounce the, the marker. So I have a little button here. I'm going to resize this. So if I click here, there we go. So it bounces. Uh, it's, it's just updating the marker. All right. So also works with uh, GeoJSON and TopoJSON. Um, in this case, I have the United States, all the states. And for example, uh, if I want to go and update a feature, I have this method that's called update feature. And right now, I'm just querying which fe what features I want to update. W one is Colorado, and the other one is Nevada. So I can just click here, and that, there we go. It will update the features. So under the hook, uh, you can have access to all the features. By the way, features are all the shapes, shape maps. That's how they call it. And I can go and do fill, um, fill all. And then here you are. So here you have a reference of all of them, and then also some metadata that I already have. So in this case, they have some uh, data based on the uh, population. So you can also pass a function to color, colorize this. And um, so you can pass a function right here, and here you very basic color play that based on the colors and based on the population will generate the colors. Anyway, just uh, take a look. There are many other um, APIs. And yeah, I think it makes it really simple to use Google Maps. And we want to add more and more features. Uh, one of them is, at, did you notice like the panels that I have here? Those are also native from uh, Google Maps. And those are controls. So you can add any HTML that you want, any CSS in there. And I'm working on adding more than events, but also like be able to use it with different template systems. OK, so the project is on GitHub. It's completely open source. And I would love to do some feedback, because it's only been 30 days since I started this project. And we're going to use it in production 
uh, starting next, next sprint in our company. So I thought this was pretty, pretty cool. And um, you know, just going to take it from there. So All right, thank yeah, you thank so you. Much. So any questions? We have time for one question. Yes, um, that's on the road, yeah. Can you read the question? Uh, is there any plans to make this a Meteor package? And the, the answer is yes. I want to make it uh, available soon. So it's going to be a separate project, but it's going to also be part of the, um, of the same Meteor project. So cool. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah.